Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Disrupted, a creation by Dan Lyons. Published in 2016, Disrupted provides an enlightening perspective on the culture and operations of tech startups, specifically Boston's HubSpot software company. Written by Dan Lyons, a seasoned technology journalist who had recently been let go from Newsweek, the book recounts his comical and challenging experiences as he enters the unfamiliar world of a startup. Through amusing anecdotes, Lyons delves into the eccentricities of HubSpot, such as their candy walls and other peculiar aspects of their unique company culture. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Dan Lyons, a journalist, novelist and screenwriter, spent many years as a technology editor at Newsweek and is currently a member of the staff at the HBO series Silicon Valley. His blog, The Secret Diary of Steve Jobs, achieved tremendous success. With nine key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, the author is questioning the benefits of the tech startup industry and wants to look beyond its attractive appearance. The author tells the story of working at HubSpot, a high-tech startup known for its innovative practices, and reveals the truth behind the glamorous image of Silicon Valley. He exposes weird business practices, poor working conditions, and the reality of working in the startup world. Topics covered include being hubspotty, talking to a stuffed animal, and the concept of a bozo explosion. Key idea number one, traditional journalists are having to adapt to the changing media industry. In 2012, journalist Dan Lyons, previously of Newsweek magazine, was searching for work after being fired. The rise of internet-based tech companies was causing older professionals in the media industry to reassess their positions. Traditional media struggled while companies like Google and Facebook thrived. Lyons was let go from Newsweek just as the company published an article about older professionals facing job cuts. Lyons needed a new job to support his family and found work at a tech news website in San Francisco. Seeing the success of startup businesses in Silicon Valley inspired him to consider a career in marketing for a startup. Key idea number two. Lyons, a 50-year-old, embraced the unfamiliarity of joining a startup and was open to adapting to the new environment. Lyons, a tech writer, was familiar with successful tech companies and their lucrative financial rewards. He was offered a vague position as a marketing fellow at a software startup called HubSpot. Despite a lengthy conversation with the founders, he still didn't understand his exact role. They wanted him to improve their blog, but the specifics were unclear. Despite the confusion, Lyons was willing to adapt and learn, especially since he was given stock options in the company. Key idea number three. HubSpot had a unique culture with quirky language and cult-like rituals. HubSpot is a tech company that has a unique and cult-like culture, the company aims to change the world through its marketing software and is led by a co-founder referred to as a spiritual leader. New employees are introduced to a manifesto and encouraged to adopt a strange lingo and dress code. The company values teamwork over individuality and promotes a work-life integration. HubSpot has its own jargon and employees are expected to adhere to principles like being humble, effective, adaptable, remarkable and transparent. There is also a monthly ritual called Fearless Fridays. The company has a high turnover rate, with employees leaving referred to as graduation. Key idea number four. HubSpot's working environment was a culture shock for Lyons due to his age. HubSpot had unusual practices meant to promote teamwork, but it made the author, Lyons, feel like a misfit. The open plan offices and emphasis on forced fun were uncomfortable for Lyons. The workplace had playground-like areas, a nap room, musical instruments, and a game room, including a candy wall. HubSpot also asked employees to talk to a teddy bear named Molly as a management technique. Lyons found this disheartening, comparing it to his previous boss, a Pulitzer Prize-winning author. Key idea number five. 
Lyons encountered conflict due to his proposed improvement changes. Lyons was hired as a marketing fellow at HubSpot, but struggled to understand his role and bring in new ideas. He thought he was hired to improve the company blog, but soon realized that the target audience was fictional characters looking for basic marketing tips. Feeling frustrated, Lyons proposed starting a separate blog with high-end content called Inbound, but middle management rejected the idea. After a fight, Lyons was granted permission to run a small sub-blog with more sophisticated articles, but had to work in a noisy telemarketing room. Key idea number six. Startups can promote mediocrity and create unfavorable working conditions in their pursuit of rapid expansion. Lyons realized that good management was lacking at HubSpot. He learned about the bozo explosion phenomenon, where mediocre employees rise through the ranks and hire even more mediocre people. This resulted in poor management at the startup. Additionally, Lyons experienced bleak working conditions in the telemarketing room, where recent college graduates made cold calls to potential customers under high pressure. However, these telemarketers were crucial to HubSpot's growth as the company was preparing for its initial public offering, IPO. Key idea number seven, HubSpot. Employees overlooked the absence of benefits and job security as they were made to feel valued and unique by the company. HubSpot mistreats its employees by offering no job security, long-term contracts, pension plans, or employee union. They also offer low wages and exploit the unlimited vacation perk. These policies are aimed at cutting costs before the IPO. Despite these conditions, employees feel special and part of a team, which discourages them from complaining about the lack of job security and low wages. Key idea number eight. Tech companies like HubSpot can still achieve success even if they have a flawed product and negative predictions by generating hype. HubSpot was able to achieve success despite having a poor product and a history of losses. They focused on creating buzz and a compelling narrative around their business, positioning themselves as revolutionary and life-changing. This buzz attracted investors and led to a successful IPO, making the co-founders multi-millionaires. Key idea number nine. Lyons was able to overcome the ageism at HubSpot and find a new job due to his ability to generate buzz and success. Lyons, a former tech editor for Newsweek, helped create buzz for HubSpot leading up to its IPO. His move to work for HubSpot was reported on by tech blogs, generating interest. Lyons also worked on HBO's Silicon Valley, enhancing HubSpot's story. Despite HubSpot's ageist attitude, Lyons stayed for the health insurance. HubSpot's co-founder even stated that experience and grey hair were overrated in the tech world, expressing a preference for gen years. Lyons received support when he posted these remarks on Facebook. Eventually, Lyons left HubSpot to write for Gawker Media's Valleywag. HubSpot portrayed his exit negatively, implying he was fired. HubSpot executives faced consequences when attempting to obtain Lyons' book manuscript illicitly. In conclusion, the book reveals that tech startups prioritize reaching an IPO over making profit or a good product. Only a few investors and founders benefit while employees have job insecurity and poor work-life balance. The book encourages feedback and suggests reading Originals by Adam Grant, which explores how to foster creativity and follow through on original ideas. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.